Friday afternoon, leaving work a little bit early. I'm gonna run over, pick up a car in my neighborhood, pack up the girls. We're going to Iowa. Six point three five miles, eight minutes, nineteen seconds per mile on a cold run commute home. Uh, temperatures were hovering around the freezing point today. Uh, earlier in the day, it had been snowing and snowing quite hard. I knew it was going to snow a little bit, but it was snowing really hard this morning. The girls were thrilled when they saw it from the window, and then not so thrilled when they had to go outside and wait for the bus in it. Uh, but nonetheless, it was Chicago's first snow and depending on where you were in the suburbs, some of the grassy areas, the snow actually did stick uh, enough to give it a little bit of a dusting. And so um, winter's definitely coming. We are currently in Iowa at my in-laws place. We got the car, we got the girls, we got everything loaded up. We even brought the dog and uh, we're gonna be here for the weekend. We've got some Veterans Day uh, festivities coming up that we're gonna be celebrating. This weekend, it is going to be very cold here in Iowa. It's usually, uh, it's not that far from Chicago where we are, but it is usually about 10 degrees colder and a lot windier than even the windy city of Chicago. So not exactly looking forward to that. Uh, for tomorrow's run, uh, Saturday, the temperature is going to be uh, about 13 degrees um, when I'm hoping to go for a run. So uh, that will be my first very cold run of this season. And, um, you know, I brought a lot of gear, but it's just, it's always hard that first couple of very cold runs uh, just to get used to it again and reacclimate yourself with weather that's just that cold. So uh, I don't know how far I'll be running, but I'm not really that concerned about it. That's the great part about kind of this time of year for running. You're running just to run. There's no more races, or I don't usually have races this time of year that I'm training for anymore. And so you're, I've been run commuting home and really enjoying that. Uh, running the miles that I feel like running at a pace that I feel like running we're technically a lot slower than I feel like running but that's kind of been really good for me and uh, I'm gonna be doing that for the next while anyway um, the Indianapolis Marathon was only a week ago it feels like an eternity but it was only a week ago 
and uh, I'm still kind of recovering, so I want to take it easy, but I'm just feeling pretty good, so I also still want to just get out there and enjoy running, which uh, is something that I do, uh, so uh, enjoy, which I didn't always enjoy the running, even when I was making a lot of running videos, I didn't always enjoy it, it was like a means to an end, but now I'm really enjoying it, having a re really great time, and uh, it is a good time of year to run, even if it is really cold. Uh, before I go, the last thing I want to talk about is today's charity runner. Today's charity runner is Gerald Ang, and he is going to be running the 2019 London Marathon for the Royal Society for Blind Children. Uh, check out his fundraising information. I put it in the description. Uh, I've donated $5 to his cause, and I hope you will check out his fundraising page and consider doing the same. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?